Perhaps the best example of the stupidity of the left and right is in recent years how often the right thinks everything is a conspiracy and the left thinks nothing is a conspiracy. Unless it's about the right, then it's not a conspiracy anymore. <laughs> Lots of conspiracies are true, but the vast majority are false. Yet the level of conspiracies most believe in the past decade have increasingly become dumber and dumber, with the most low-level brain-dead conspiracies becoming more and more popular. Which if you're behind real conspiracies is great news. So much so that if you want a likely conspiracy, how about people in power are propping up shit like QAnon, lizard people, and flat earth to tarnish conspiracies in general and discredit people who believe conspiracies that are true. That way the rational are put under the same crazy conspiracy theorist umbrella as those irrational idiots. My whole life I've always questioned the status quo, coming up with my own theories many would call conspiracies. If you aren't having thoughts others would label as conspiracies, then you're not thinking. But if you think every newsworthy event has a conspiracy behind it, then you're just a nutcase who can't cope with the chaos of the world and need a digestible narrative and a scapegoat to give it meaning. Seeking out and obsessing over conspiracies is a waste of time. Some may turn out to be true, some not. But you have to accept for most of them, you'll never find out. Like for example, I've never heard anyone say this, but a wild conspiracy I came up with is I think it's possible there could be a hidden continent on Earth where powerful people live that isn't on any world map we know of. It's just a thought that came in my head one day. It's probably not true, but it could be. I barely think about it. But unless I've seen something with my own eyes and have logically conclusive evidence to support it, I can't be 100% certain of anything. And even then, how can you be sure existence isn't all just in your head and everyone, including myself, is a character you made up and you're just talking to yourself right now? Existence is so weird, there's very few things you can rule out with 100% certainty. Listen, I can't conclude with 100% certainty the Earth isn't flat, just like I can't conclude with 100% certainty there aren't clones of me on some island having orgies with the hottest woman alive. I mean, I haven't seen the Earth myself and I haven't seen those clones of me, but logically I can conclude it's almost certainly not the case, and anyone who believes so is stupid. But that's the line between being a conspiracy theorist and a critical thinker. There is a huge difference between claiming something could be true and claiming something is true. And these idiots who claim conspiracies are 100% true that aren't lack the critical thinking skills and logic to realize what they think is conclusive evidence is not. It's a religion to them. That's why logical reasoning is more important than evidence itself. Evidence can be manipulated, but logic is consistent. And people who lack logic never stop to see the conspiracy from the conspirator's perspective. I mean, do you really think those in power would want to wipe out all the subservient people with an injection and have only the people who don't trust the government left alive? I mean, use your head, people. Jesus. The much more logical and obvious play, hypothetically speaking, would be for them to inject the subservient people with something that just so happens to protect them from a future deadly virus so only non-obedient citizens are wiped out. But maybe the dumbest conspiracy I constantly hear is people claiming fake meat companies are part of a conspiracy to make them eat bugs, when the whole point of eating fake meat is to avoid eating creatures. Meanwhile, a main purpose bugs that are farmed are used for is to feed animals you eat. <laughs> but as dumb as the conspiracy whack jobs are, the people who think nothing is a conspiracy are even dumber. It's amazing how these people watch movies over and over where they root for the main character against some tyrannical authoritarian government conspiracy, rooting for others to believe the main character when everyone thinks they're crazy. Yet they leave the theater and become the characters they hate, laughing at everyone who believes in any conspiracy, like those they root against in movies. Never putting two and two together and considering the worlds they see over and over in movies are possible in real life.